What is up everybody? Holy damn, we are back. I have a house <laughs> and today I'm gonna show you guys around and we're gonna we're gonna hang out, we're gonna catch up for a little bit. I hope everyone has been well. It's been a few months actually since my last video. And yeah, as you guys seen in the prologue of the season two of my life, so much has changed. And I'm gonna start this vlog by just showing you guys around. I've been really blessed with this house and we're gonna really talk about manifestation today, fam. For reals, check this out. This is my front yard. It's very cozy, very big. This is how the house looks like. We have some plants going. And then we have a living room in here. Don't mind the mess. I'm already like settled in, you know. <laughs> got my got my bedroom over here. Mm -hmm. Got a nice toilet here. Another like bedroom that I'm using as a storage, power glider storage. We're gonna talk about that. Check out this kitchen film. So nice. Got so many cabinets and shelves and things like really dope. This all came with the house, also this table. And then this is where the magic is happening. This is my new studio, guys. I really, really, really love how it ended up. And the best part of it all is the view from the window. Check this out, guys. <laughs> And I'm gonna show you guys the best part of the doll. It's the backyard. I've been so blessed that I'm able to live so, so, so close to nature. This is a little meditation spot, very cozy. And then we can head into the jungle and everything in here was really closed off and i've been slowly slowly working it out and i really want to turn this into a stream space in the future but check it out this is the progress there's so many spider webs in here <laughs> i've got a very cozy space going on in here already and I come here very often to just meditate. I sit on that little bench and I just chill, man. And I really love it here. And yeah, fam, what, what have I been up to since the last video? What happened in my life, you know? Man, after the breakup, I went into a whole journey trying to find myself and find what the fuck I could do with myself, you know? It has been really rough, like the focus was really to move to Europe and I already had a plan, so I, I now had to make a new plan. And I was really following this performance like grind and I was really deep into it, trying to get some gigs here in Brazil, but the reality is that this whole circus and flow art scene in Brazil is really undervalued. People don't really know what to do with it and it was being just a struggle. Also. I was not really being able to connect with the people. I was really struggling making friends. Some really traumatic shit happened after uh, I went traveling. I was in Sao Paulo and Sao Paulo is like around the center of Brazil. It's the business capital in here and that place is so busy. Like it, it was freaking creepy to be there, man. It's so many people, it's so full insanity you know i could not be there it was really like too much for me and after that i had a whole experience with my dad my dad owns a paraglider school and i use it to work for him i grew up in this sport you know in i grew up flying a paraglider if you dig down into my youtube channel you can actually see me flying the videos are all shooting there and uh yeah, I went camping with my dad. I didn't really know what to do with myself and he asked if I wanted to go and sure, let's just do it. 
And it was just so nice to experience that sport again, to see that people, everyone was so excited to see me, very curious about this whole journey I've been through. And in the end, I had a lot of fun. I also did teach a little bit and it really left me a mark that day, you know. But then I moved on my travels. I went to Florianópolis. It's a place in the south of Brazil. It has a very strong circus scene, but the people were cool, but the market is not. Things were not really working out. And at some point I caught myself thinking like, man, what about that one dream that I always had, you know? I always like wanted to make music and music always has been a priority in my life. And I always wanted to have a handpan and I always wanted to be in nature and I always wanted to be like, focusing on that in those things in making music in nature in relaxing but instead i turned my life into creating shows and impressing people and that really hit me really hard you know like them i really want to be near nature but then i'm doing all this grind trying to be like in the clubs and such it's it's not where i belong you know so I contacted my dad because that day left such a mark on me as well to just be in the mountain, just working and teaching people how to fly. It's something really special for people, you know? And to be doing that, it really touched me. And man, I contacted my dad and he actually offered me to work for him. And I took the job. And as soon as I took the job, I got a message from a guy saying, bro, I got the house you were looking for. So I come here, visit this house and I, I see all of this and I'm like, fuck, bro, that's, that's just it. But then there's the housing deposit, you know? And if you guys watched the last video, the explanation video you guys heard, but in this meantime, I got this crazy donation from a friend that covered the housing costs that I spent with that house, like that vacation house. And with that money, I was able to afford this house. But the housing deposit ended up being a little cheaper. So I was also able to invest into a tong drum. It's not really a handpan. I still want a handpan, but the tong drum is so nice, man. It's really close. The ways of playing, it's like nice that I can start grinding it already, you know? And the craziest part, fam, there is a river going down this trail over here. And we're gonna go there. I want to show you guys around, but I do need to get some tools and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be in adventure mode. <laughs> There it is. Check this place out, y'all. So, uh, yeah, it's a very small river and it's very closed off with the woods. But with a lot of work, we can make it happen and make the chillest spot ever in here, fam. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, man. 
and it's like crystal clear water as well that's so nice yeah film it's so crazy man i remember when i was 16 years old i saw this one video of a guy playing handpan on a riverside and that really left a mark on me that became my biggest dream but how would i ever be able to do that you know like i'm a poor brazilian kid never really had money i thought about like a retirement plan or something like that and uh yeah the past two years i really put that dream to the side it's so crazy to think about this you know i always wanted this i put this to the side because of the journey i was at and this journey went terribly wrong and now i am here realizing this dream you know it doesn't feel the same after this whole journey but it's nice to have this place to be able to heal myself um, and to focus at something you know i've been streaming a lot i've been really 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 enjoying myself djing these streams have been so incredibly supportive during this whole time and now i'm adding instruments over a dj set and i never had so much fun djing in these seven years that i am a dj it's so crazy fam it feels so good i feel like i am living the dream i'm pretty speechless and my routine now is also pretty nice i'm living really connected with nature on Tuesday and Thursdays, I work with the paragliding stuff in the morning, also on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, the whole day. And then Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I do stream and I do focus on music and focus on myself. And this has been a really healthy balance for me. And I'm just beyond excited, you know? Of course, as you guys saw in the previous video, there's a lot going on inside of me that still needs to be healed, but I believe this place is the perfect place to do so. And yeah, film, now I gotta go walk back home, go through the jungle again. <laughs> you know also something crazy, guys. I also wanted to have a cat. It's something that was always in my dreams, and especially after living with some cats. And uh, this is Valentina. Valentina is a... Uh, uh, she's the actual owner of the house if I gotta be honest uh, She's been living in here for a few weeks already and no one knows who she is from It's so crazy, but she's just in the house So yeah, I, I now have a catch <laughs> This is how and where I'm gonna heal myself Connected with mother nature taking a step back from performances focusing on music with the company of an awesome cat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's so adorable. And yeah guys, it has been one crazy journey, but it's finally over. Peace is finally here and we can finally start working again. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Much love and I'm gonna see you guys again. Soon. I don't know, I don't remember how to end videos. How do you win videos again? I think you say goodbye.